How's it going guys? Thank you for watching another video. So if you've never heard of M Custa, or maybe you're trying to decide what M Custa knife you want to buy, I hope this video is going to help you out. We're going to give you a good overview of all of the different options you have if you're trying to purchase a folding knife from M Custa. And just as a quick reminder, guys, we're going to see a ton of knives. And if you want to check out the individual reviews, just skip to the playlist in the description below. Just a quick background on M Custa. They've been around since about 2000 out of Seki, Japan. And if you know anything about Seki, Japan, they have a rich heritage of blade making going back to hundreds of years, back to where Samurai and Ronin and Ninja and Shogun were around. And the name M Custa is a combination of machine and custom. So they use things like CNC machining, laser cutting, and they combine it with assembling, grinding, and polishing everything by hand. Now, as far as blade shapes go, you're going to get either maybe one of four that I've seen. Now, I consider this a drop point. It's really thick on the top here. But some websites call this a spear point. So you're going to get something that looks like that most of the time. Or something like this, which to me is more like a spear point. This is their version of a clip point with this beautiful swedge here. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the last variation of blade shape I've seen is on the katana knife itself, which is kind of like a tanto. Now, as far as steel types go, I've only seen three. This is the straight VG10 with satin finish. Absolutely gorgeous. Then you'll see something that looks like this, which is a Sanmai three layer steel. Damascus on the outsides with the VG10 core. And then finally over to something that looks like this, which is also a Sanmai three layer. You got Damascus on the outsides, but on the inside you have a SBG2 powdered steel, high quality stuff. Up first, we got the classic wave characterized by these contoured finger grooves here. And these are available in a ton of different options, right? You got this white Corian brown ironwood. This is a blue micarta. Give that a look. And you got this black pack of wood down here at the bottom. The ones on the right have the clip point, the VG10 straight satin finish. All right, then the ones over on this side have more of a spear point blade and the Damascus VG10 core. Absolutely gorgeous. Now onto one of the lines that I think really displays the type of CNC machining that M Custa has. This is the Shinra line. All right, so you can tell very distinctive that they've taken knives from their other lines and they put them in this one and they are distinctive because of these beautiful Damascus handles, All right? This is not laser etched. This is not regular stainless. This is what happens when you forge Damascus and you acid etch it. The one on the top is called Kasumi. We got Tsuchi that you're going to see this hammer pattern over and over again. Also the Take, which is their bamboo style. And the Yoroi on the bottom, which is shaped to be like a samurai sword handle katana. Next up, we got the katana. It's probably one of their more recognizable knife lines. All right, it's supposed to be in the shape of a katana sword handle. And it really does look like that. This is on the larger side for knives. Double anodized aluminum handles, absolutely gorgeous. Next up is the Shinra Emotion series. Again, on the compact side, a little bit smaller, available in a ton of different color and handle options, brown ironwood, red stamina wood, black pack of wood. And I'll always mention this, but you're gonna see this repeated throughout the video. This is the Tsuchi, which is kind of that hammered finish that you normally see on steel handles. But look at what a good job they've done on this wooden handle. It catches the light, bounces it around really nice. And then of course we've seen this bamboo pattern called Take in the Shinra line. Again, absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at these gorgeous money clips. Just another great example of the CNC machining that M Custa has. And you can choose what family crest you want in here. There's about 10 historical Japanese family crests. This one belongs to the Tokugawa family. And these are the Imperial Chrysanthemums. And it has a blade hidden in there. Spear point Aus 8 steel. Look at that. The one on the left is called Fuji from the Fujiwara family. And these are the flowers that hang down from the Wisteria tree. Also gorgeous. 
In addition to the Shinra series that have those beautiful Damascus steel handles, we have the Forge series, which is just straight forged stainless steel. And it's just another great example of how great the CNC machining is over at M Custa. On the left and to the bottom, we have that familiar hammered Tsuchi finish, polished, right? We have the smaller version at the top, larger here. And this is the blacked version. On some sites, it's called Shadow. And then on the right here, we have a wave pattern called Nami. On to our last line, which is the Tactility Elites. Now, these look like classic waves because of these contoured finger grooves. But there are some subtle differences, like the back ends here, jimping here, and the pocket clips. Let me show you what I'm talking about here, so you can see. Right here, you got squared off ends, jimping here, jimping here on the top. Different pocket clips. These are available in the white Corian, that brown ironwood, and this is a black micarta. Differences on both sides here, being the thumb hole openers, have the SBG2 core. That's got a hammered finish on it. Look at that. And the ones on the left have a thumb stud opener with a Damascus VG10 core. Also gorgeous. Well, all right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this really quick overview of all of the options that M Custa has to offer you. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click that bell to get notifications when I post my next video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.